Hi guys, welcome to Living with a Pacemaker. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime when I do any videos for you guys here exclusively on this channel. Now, this channel I've opened up officially now, it's open. Obviously, you've seen my backups go onto this very channel. I know it's a big risk putting new channels with backups from my original channel. I know, but I had to do it because obviously I want to focus on uh, Gavi Knott's uh, channel towards obviously talk about professional wrestling. And I want to focus on this channel, bringing you gaming vlogs towards my Living With Pacemaker series like you've seen today. So I hope you can understand uh, why I've done it. I'm hoping it pans out the way I hope it pans out. I don't mind if one person tunes in. I'm one of these people with that sort of mentality. But with the World of Sport thing, the way it's got a lot of traction, over a thousand on the premiere or pre-show, you want to class it as the plot towards introducing that series and obviously giving our thoughts before the series started. And now the series started on ITV, we've got a lot of traction and a lot of people watching it, including wrestlers like uh, Justin Seiston and quite honestly, I, I still can't get over the fact that um, the amount of um, people that are actually tuning into that, so that's why I've done it. It's nothing towards the people that I've gained over the series of living with a pacemaker and the gaming scenarios to bring to you guys so i hope you can understand that and going forward it'll be other things other than professional wrestling as well so there might be computer games playing fifa there could be games playing other different you know what i mean so i'm bringing different entity towards this channel obviously it's new home because quite quite honestly that's why i've done it and I'm quite nervous doing it, granted it's a big risk, but end of the day, I want to just uh, please numerous of people on the internet. It's not them asking me to do it, I volunteered to do it. Right, on to the Blu-rays that I've picked up today. I've picked up a, one film that I've been dying to see for numerous of years, and it's in the quid shop. I'm going to point blank range this. I swallowed my pride and finally went into CX this past week. I was nervous going in it after the way they treated me. But I thought, fuck it. Stick it to the man, as they say. But I went in there. Their selection of Blu-rays is getting poor. My God. Very, very poor. Pound Shop are outshining you. Jesus Christ. Poundland are outshining you. You know? And... I picked up a few titles from Poundland again. You know, I'm not. I'm going to be pouring blind range here. The only places I think are reliable at the moment for Blu-rays on deals is Music Mad Pie, Poundland. I know they get supply Poundland before anyone says it. Um, that's about it. CX has gone downhill. And checked HMV out. For obviously, if they've got any decent reduced ones, but for a quid. I don't think they're going to have any quid titles, to be honest, and that's just my own uh, a point of view. Now, the moves that I picked up here, there was one wild card that I've not actually seen, and obviously there was one for my sister, because obviously she started collecting Blu-rays, which is fantastic, even though she hasn't got a Blu-ray player. I do apologise about my phone. And one thing is, though, that... I'm keeping an eye out for a Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray player for her. If there's a decent price, any recommendations, anyone watching this. For a decent price, uh, let us know uh, in the co comments, please do. Um, but these, I was surprised to see these in because, quite honestly, some of these, I was actually, one of them, I was looking forward to picking up at some point on Music Mad Pie because it was on a special deal, but this is even cheaper than Music Mad Pie, even though they get this, um, stuff from Music Mad Pie. So, going forward, um, I got Push. I've heard really good things about it. I'm looking forward to watching it. I've watched the trailer and I like the look of it. So, for a quid, you cannot go wrong. This was technically the wild card, um, sorry, the wild child, even though it's a wild card. 
um, to pick up. It looks like a Mean Girls sort of 2.0, like a rip-off of Mean Girls. Anyone else seen it? Please let me know. And obviously he's got uh, Julia Roberts' daughter. That's actually in this. I've, I've heard nothing about this. I've only seen, like, a couple of her movies. She's... It, to me personally, I feel like she's trying to follow in her mum's footsteps with some of the roles that she's actually had, what I've actually seen. be quite funny if they did Pretty Woman 2 with her, wouldn't they? Imagine it, a sequel with her in it. Like, that would have been... Talk about inheritance towards the um, family tree. Now, this one I was actually surprised, and this is factory sealed, not... I don't know if these are factory sealed or been resealed by uh, Music Vampire or Pound World or whatever, but still, for a coin, I'm not complaining if they are second hand or not. But they look like factory sealed, but this one is shrink wrap sealed. It's Men in Black 2. I need to get one and three now. I'm trying to, get, I'm tr sort of trying to get all the Will Smith films on Blu ray if some of them are out there. My favourite one of all time has got more well, two. Quest for Happiness, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not really sure, guys. Um, but this is Men in Black 2. It's factory fucking shrink wrap sealed, which is a bonus, and it's a quid. So, and you got the nice um, slip cover. Don't know what the cover's like underneath. Quite honestly, I like the Men in Black franchise. It's fantastic. Um, I'm hoping to get a few more films very, very soon as well. And the one I picked up from my sister, because I know she likes this movie, is Mirror Mirror. Now, with Mirror Mirror, I'm not one of these people that sort of like, sort of like these sort of films. Don't get me wrong, Labyrinth is one of my favourites. Even though my sister bought me for shit for it when she was little. She's going to kill me if she watches this. But... One thing is I want to actually say, I do like the artwork on this. They've actually kept to sort of standards towards old school sort of style. Like, um, sort of like Disney sort of style, even though it's a, not a low budget film, but still. I'm going to surprise my sister with that one, so not bad for £4. Four quid's worth. So, one thing is I want to actually talk about to you guys. Right, as of this recording, I am shitting bricks at the moment. Right, you know, as you know for well, this series is technically living with a pacemaker. Well, I'm living with one and my adapter is not playing to ball. They've tried three times to get the reading from it, to download it, and it's not communicating with them. Or is it not communicating with us? If this is fucked inside me... I think I may need another pacemaker. Right. That's all I need. That's all I fucking need. And then you look at the... Or it could be just the adapter. You know? At the moment, I'm shitting bricks. As of this recording, it was my signing on day. So I went there at 9 o'clock in the morning and asked him if I could see him early. Because I'm waiting for an engineer to ring me back and see what's going off. And you know what, guys? He did ring me. I was in the bath getting ready. Can't fucking move my life. You know? It fucking screws up. It screwed up big time. Not my life. I mean, like, fucking pacemaker shit. That, the worries that we have to worry. All I see is a green light on the fucking bottom of it. I'm assuming it's working. Or is it just using my mum's electric? That I paid for. And pay my way in life to fucking have my GSA every fucking two weeks. I know I don't pay her enough as I really want to. But you can understand with fucking £145 a fortnight. It's just ridiculous, this government. If they gave us 200 maybe swayed. You know, because quite honestly, 100 a week is what I need to live on. Then again, I don't do much. But anyway, as of this recording... I'm hoping to have this up before this coming Friday. Um, I just want to actually say that I've got a job interview this Friday. So, things are on the up. So, 
looking forward to going to that this coming Friday afternoon. So, that's about it, you know, quite honestly, that's all I've got to say, you know, my, that's, that's my life update for you guys, I'm still doing my job hunting, I'm still trying to crack the fucking way people are, the way they want to interview you, you know, I'm still persevering with life. Bog standard now, isn't it? But until next time, guys, thank you ever so much for tuning in. But as well, it's starting to get hot again after the torrential downpour we've had the last few days, and I'm sweating buckets. Not as much, but I tell you what, again, I can't thank everyone enough for the support that you've given us to World of Sport Wrestling Fan Reaction on my main channel. That's just crazy amount of people tuning into that. And the, I'm looking forward to watching episode 2 this Saturday. And then obviously filming this Saturday straight after it. Should be on the main channel. Hopefully by Sunday evening. Just depends how long it takes to edit. And then obviously Nick dropping me the his side of the camera side. Just can't wait. Really cannot wait. Thanks guys for tuning in. Catch you guys soon.